Scotty here once again at Joe's Karting down here in Council Bluffs for Racing with the Stars. And we got one of the stars here, uh, Shaley uh, Bade uh, Hellgate. Am I pronouncing that right? Yes, we're still, going with, we're still going with Shaley Bade for the racing aspect, but since we are recently married, yes, Hellgate. So, uh, uh, sprint car driver, just uh, 360 and 305, nothing 410 yet? or. You know, we might have something in the plan for 2020, but it's still too early to tell or to get excited. So we've seen you uh, race over at uh, Eagle Speedway. Uh, that'd be like your home track in the 305 class and a little bit of 360. Uh, if I remember correctly, last year was uh, your first time going on tour with the uh, Carpetland Nebraska 360 Sprints full-time? Yes, that is correct. So uh, how many tracks then did you run in that time period? Um, for 360, we probably hit about eight tracks this last year, and then we did hit a couple in the 305, so we kind of got a little taste of both of them this year. We did a little bit more traveling with the 305, which is pretty cool. We got to go out to the Belleville um, 305 Nationals, which is a lot of fun. And what's really cool about this next year in 2020 is they changed the date. So it was, it fell over the Knoxville Nationals, and now this year they moved it into, I believe it's July towards July, August, to where now that we can run the 305 uh, Belleville and also get to go to Knoxville. So Knoxville, you're running with the 360s then and Belleville with the 305. What is the track that has had the most impact on you uh, racing in the 305 or the 360? Impact, how so? Good impact or bad impact? Uh, we'll say good impact. Like what would be your favorite track to run at? Uh, I think my, you know, I had a lot of fun at Belleville. It is a super fast track. So even though it's a 305 track, we had a lot of fun. It was a great atmosphere. It was a great group of people. Um, 360, I'd probably have to say I-80. Even though I'm not a big track person, I prefer smaller tracks, but I-80 really had their track together this year. It was really smooth, fun, super racy. Even considering all the rain that we had, it was still a great track. Well, we've seen you this year at uh, Off-Road Speedway a couple times. Um, didn't make it up to Rock Rapids with the MSTS. Uh, have you any plans to race with the MSTS maybe a little bit next year? Or? We're gonna like travel to go to their races. They're a little bit farther north than where we would like to go. Um, they do have a few races that they race with the R series, so we'll definitely hit those. And then actually, our next year, we're just gonna be kind of playing it by ear. Wherever we want to go next year is where we're gonna want to go. I mean, there's a few tracks that we've never got to be able to go to, just because our series doesn't travel there. So. Next year, it's going to be more so for our team. If we want to go, then we're going to go. We're not going to be running for points. We're not going to be locked down to anything. We're just going to kind of have fun and do what we want, really. And that's what basically racing is all about, going out and having fun and meeting new fans and just uh, having fun along the way and making awesome memories at that. So uh, Shaley Bay, driver of the 03, 305, and 360 Sprint Car. Uh, be sure to 03? 03. 03. 03. Be sure to catch up with her uh, at any track shot. She may be at a, going back to Jackson maybe next year too? You know, that's why I had to ask you about that question. So we really love Jackson. It's an awesome facility. Like they have great pay. Their track is amazing. It's like a mini Knoxville, but we have the worst luck that we possibly could there. It's just one of those tracks. Like if we're super fast, something always happens. Just like we went down for the Jackson Nationals, locked into the qualifier like we were in the a main we had three laps to go and my throttle cable stripped out and it's just like just these little things but we can't get jackson like that track beats us but one of these days we're gonna get it so be sure to look for her at jackson possibly in the near future okay. and in the 2020 season so thank you for your time yeah. greatly appreciate it thank you guys